All right, all right. So I'm going to continue on with this snapper project here. Uh, finally got the engine running. Uh, I think I still need to fine tune it, and I discovered a little leak on the carburetor. You know where it has that on those old carburetors has that little plastic elbow on the intake, and it's leaking right there. And uh, uh, and it needed gaskets and all that stuff, so I just went ahead and ordered another carburetor, and I'll put that on at a later date. No big deal. Um, what else? Uh, that's about it. So I got another tire. Uh, so we'll now we'll have two new rear tires on it. Um, didn't think you want to see me go through that, but you know, just for a quick bam bam, here it is. You know, uh, tires on. So. I think I'm going to turn this sucker on its rear so that I can get to the uh, to the bottom of the mowing deck. We can look at the whole bottom and the trans, you know, the uh, that drive wheel back there. Just all that good stuff. We'll see how mechanically sound it is. I guess that's the next step. I'm curious to see what it looks like underneath too. So here we go. that bad is it just some clumps of stuff under there and uh, the blade the blade looks like it's in pretty good shape didn't it it's not bent up doesn't look to be bent up just needs some sharpening yeah Besides a little rust, it's it's not bad, is it? Here's the steering linkage. You can see all that. Moving freely, but uh, I do think it needs a little, a little oiling, a little lubing here and there. And I guess that's one thing I need to find out. It's like here's the Zerk fittings for the for the axle and the bushing there. When you're here, I don't see anything. Looks like it's just freewheeling there, but I'm sure I can uh, pull those down a little bit. Yeah, so it really doesn't look that bad, does it? I should clean it up. I should carry it over there and power wash this thing down. But everything looks like it's working like it should, because right now the brake is on. The brake is on and locked. And when you do that, it disengages the wheel here. And you can see it's in neutral, that little notch. So when I'm putting it in gear, you can see it goes to the outside, high speed, and there's neutral, and then there's reverse. So that neutral, when you turn the uh, brake right here uh, when you release it then it adds the pressure down let's see all right the brake is off there you see the cable is loose shouldn't be able to, yeah, so 
you try to turn it, you can see how it's, you just can't get it past. It's got to be rotating while to engage the uh, that flywheel right there, the drive wheel. Let's see, put it back in neutral, it's in neutral. Um, what else? You can see the belts under there and they look okay. But I guess I could uh, take this cover off so I can see down on top of the, the mowing deck a little better. And uh, But you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to lower this thing again. Get all this crap right here off. Power wash everything down. So it'll be easier to work on. And, uh, and then prop it back up. Alright, I got after it with a, even a wire brush, but a lot of that stuff just is not coming off. So, yeah, that's interesting. Remove battery before standing mower on end for more than two hours. Well, too bad you can't see that until you already turn it up on its end. <laughs> but I already took the battery out anyway. Seems like common sense to do that. Alright, so... Yeah, it's a little cleaner. A lot of it, I guess it's just all looks. It looks like there's just a lot of... Uh, surface rust some of the paints gone this stuff I got after it with a wire brush and it's it's just not coming off but that's fine there's no rust throughs I'm pretty pleased so let me wheel it over there dry it off and we'll see what adjustments we can make on this to make it start running all right so everything is drying off and I can look in. I guess it's kind of, you know, I guess I'll just have to give it a look over and go for the obvious of, you know, what needs work on because we haven't really operated yet, right? We don't know if anything's wrong with it at all, if any. It might work perfect for all I know. But, uh, but I guess I'll go through. I mean, it's obvious the blade, I'll, I'll take that off, get it sharpened. Um, but everything else looks good, you know. I was sitting there playing with the uh, with the gearing here. Everything was working fine. Um, what else? The blade engage. You you push it up, and then you have to. I don't know if I can. Yeah. Then when you push on the foot pedal, damn, that locks it in. Well, you know what I mean. See the way that locks in right there. So you you pop that over and then push. <laughs> if I can do this, yeah. So there you see. So you hold that with your foot. But everything is tightening up the way it should. I know there's some adjustments that can be made. Do you see right there? Right over here. But the belt looks like it's tightening up just fine. Um, what else? I noticed you can see these wiggling around. There we go. Yeah, so this wiggling around here looks like just some nylon bushings are all worn out right there on both sides so that's why that's jiggling not bad it's still steered well it's just like I said it just jiggles same here on the uh, so I know I can lube those up I guess I could take them off and look and see how the bushings are on those uh, what else everything else is fine yeah, so I guess I'll just do the obvious and 
then we'll give it a test run and see if there's any anything wrong at all um, it might work just fine like I said so I guess we'll start with the blade all right all right it's another morning this is uh, next day and I'm gonna start off with uh, taking the blade off and sharpening and balancing it all that good stuff and uh, and I might put some undercoating on this deck you know treat it for rust and then put some undercoating on it but uh, gotta drink my coffee but oh I just noticed there's the three all rights I can only do two right let's see Yeah. There we go. Let's censor that. All right, all right. And uh, I only do two. I guess I could do four though, right? But uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, that's 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 stupid. So don't want to get silly about it. But all right, all right is the way to go. So. Okay, I'm waking up and I'm going to get started on this. We'll take the blade off and while it's off, I'll, I think I've got some undercoating uh, left over. Probably enough to do one, one more deck. And I might as well do that, so let's get started. I'm trying to get an angle here where there's not going to be so much glare in the background. It's kind of uh, washing out the video. But with this one, looks like the two bolts here takes it off of the blade adapter um, and this just slides off so looks very rusty I hope I don't break these bolts I probably should uh, put some penetrating oil on it but let's see what happens Big ass crescent wrench. All my other tools are in the shop, so uh, yeah, I have a set for out here the outdoor mobile service, and then I have my other tools in the garage. hefty blade to tell you the truth all right should have some stuff I've got some of the rust-oleum rust reformer and I've had pretty good luck with this stuff um, I have a little trailer over there that was just a rust bucket and uh, this stuff did the trick it's still it was a couple of years ago and it's still holding up so and I don't know if I have enough in here to finish that off but we'll see this stuff dries fast so all right so I had to clear off a spot on my bench I've got so much crap going on here um, Got a pretty major project going on over here. I left some fishing stuff sitting there. <laughs> but there's my blade balancer if you haven't seen that yet. And all you do, you just place it over the blade adapter like that. And bingo. So it's heavy on this side. Uh, so I know when I start sharpening it up, I'll, I'll take a little extra off. But what I also did, I took a... Uh, a wire brush and got all the loose stuff off of it and, and it looks like there's still some crap caught under here because what's going to happen while you're mowing the way this is made I mean there's going to be stuff you know dirt and grass and stuff getting caught up on the ends and it, it'll throw it off balance um, but at least the way it sits now will get it sharpened and will get it properly balanced and uh, what happens after that, like I said, it could uh, 
you know, junk getting caught up on these crevices and just anywhere on the blade throws it off a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely heavy on this side. So let me uh, sharpen this up on my uh, bench grinder and then we'll measure it again. Alright, so we got it got most of the little nicks off of it also. I'm kind of surprised it has such a, a small cutting area. You'd think it'd be way down here somewhere. Um, such a large blade. But, uh, yeah. But, who knows. Let's, uh, let's set this down. And it should be pretty darn close. It's just a little off. Let's take a little bit more off of there. Yeah, I would say that is balanced because yeah, there we go. So, so don't forget, we do sell these. We actually make these here, and uh, and I'll supply a link. And uh, got them at a pretty good price. You know, we hope to sell quite a few of them. It'll help fund this channel because you know I don't make a whole lot of money doing this, and. I have a few projects that are taking me forever to do because I have to buy parts and, and whatnot, a bunch of restorations that I'd like to do and keep making videos, but uh, but that's the way it goes. So, so if you're interested, there's a link to it and take a look at our website and, uh, and let me know if you have any questions. All right, so let's get this back on. I think while it's while it's up like this, I'm gonna go ahead and and lube the front end up here while it's easy to get to. We uh we jiggle around a little bit, but seen any come out but oh yeah I can tell all right definitely needed it
I do believe it is working. Uh, well, the thing is awfully loud, isn't it? I don't think there's anything, no bafflers left in that muffler. It's probably like running a straight pipe. But, uh, <laughs> and it's backfiring like that. I guess I can double check. Well, I already double checked the valves. Um, you know, I can check the, the, the spark plug again and I could probably take a look at the flywheel key and make sure that thing's just not split in half again or starting to. Um, but we'll see. Under here everything was running well. Um, I noticed uh, I left the cover off so I can take a look at the blades or the the belts when I engage the blades and they did look a little loose. It was after, uh, you know, when these tighten up, I can still see the belt just kind of, you know, just a little loose, not bad. Uh, it was obviously working. And what else? So I guess uh, it's just fine tuning right now, like fine tuning the tightness on the belt. Uh, leveling out the the mowing deck there which uh, you, know, you can see here on the rear and can you lower it on the front let's see let me go on this side there we go that was all the way down let me put this back on the tripod for you So, yeah, so there's with the, the blade, the, you can see how, how loose, kind of loose the, the belt is, if you can see that. So we can tighten that up a bit. See it's hanging on that chain on this side. See the chain is just loose there. So and that's just simply screwing that up. And uh, yeah, so it's just a lot of little fine tuning, but overall I do believe she is working. Well, all right, I think that's it for this video. Um, let me know if you want to keep going. I'm going to get under here and fine tune everything, uh, leveling the deck, uh, tightening the, uh, the belts, all that good stuff. I mean, it's just fine tuning it now, but it looks like the engine's running decent. It seems like it was gurgling at, at idle, but maybe that's just a carburetor adjustment. Because um, I did put a new one on there, but. Uh, Oh, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to clean it up, put everything back on, and uh, and fine tune uh, all the adjustments. But seems like it's running great. You know, it, it took a little while. This one was a fun one. Um, took a little money out of pocket, and uh, but luckily I had a, a, a spare engine that I, that I used as a donor, and uh, was able to get some of the parts off of that. But uh, but for the most part, um, it's just money out of pocket. And I've got all these other projects I'm trying to do. You can see my little mini truck behind me under the tarp. Uh, I think I did an intro on that. But it's uh, one of the Suzuki carry, carry alls. Suzuki carries a mini truck. And uh, parts are expensive for those suckers, man. Um, but it'll be fun to do. Uh, I just got to get the... Get some parts for that, but they're coming from overseas, uh, some Japan, some in Hong Kong. There's a couple of places I found here in the U.S. 
but they're sky high. I mean, for like a just the distributor cap and rotor um, would stretch you 75 to 125 bucks. Yeah, just for the little plastic uh, uh, distributor cap and a rotor. I mean, it was ridiculous. And uh, I was able to find the whole distributor, getting it shipped in from overseas. I don't have any choice, but uh, but anyway, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and. You know, I just opened up a Patreon account, so, you know, just a buck or two a month here and there would really help me with some of these parts. I've got all these projects I'd love to tackle and film them, but, uh, you know, it's money out of pocket. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, check out the Patreon account. Uh, be sure to check our website. Um, and thanks for watching, and watch for my next video. Yeah, let me know if you want to see me continue fine-tuning this thing and I'll, I'll make another video. But uh, anyway, thanks and we'll see you again.